What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, I am going to be setting up a Facebook video view ad for a friend of mine. Um, this is Luann, crushing it here in California. Been in the real estate industry for many, many years and super, super successful. Super successful, super fired up about social media marketing and Facebook advertising. And this is literally step one of, of, of rolling out a daily Facebook ad campaign. Okay. This is day one of targeting her local area. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to be showing you in this video is just kind of the setup, the setup on, on how to get that, that ad running on how to, how, on what we're going to do with the targeting, what we're going to do for the budget. This is a client that's going all in. She's literally all in her monthly budget is a few thousand per month with me. Okay. So we're not playing small potatoes here. This is someone that actually is going all in um, with a monthly budget and 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 with the consistency of content, right? It's all about video content, in my professional opinion. You want to start putting out video, um, put out more video, more, more video of what you're what what you're doing, right? And and especially for those of you that are building a local business, in this particular case, Luann, she is a local realtor. She's a local real estate agent, broker, whatever you want to call it. She's a local real estate professional. Her clients are in her backyard, people that she's helping buy homes, people that she's helping sell homes. They're all there in her backyard. And so what a lot of local business owners still tend to do is spend money offline in hopes of reaching their local backyard in hopes of reaching their community, right? They're putting out flyers. They're getting a, a spread in the, in the newspaper, in the local magazine. They're putting their face on a billboard, on a, on a bus bench. These local business owners are still doing offline marketing tactics that are super expensive and just flat out don't work. Everyone and their mother is on social media. Everyone and their mother is on Facebook. And so if you're building any kind of local business, you need to be putting your message out there, running Facebook ads just like this. Um, there's strategy to the ads, obviously. But you can you can definitely learn you know these basic strategies. I'm going to walk you through one of them right now, and and just kind of give you my two cents on what I'm thinking and how I'm approaching it and what our 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 objective really is um, with this specific ad and with this specific step. Um, and so I'm going to just kind of walk you through it. But but you got to be thinking Facebook ads. You got to be thinking Instagram ads. You got to be thinking YouTube ads. You got to be thinking paid traffic. It's the only way you can get in front of your local area. Okay, too many, too many local business owners are spreading their message. They're spraying their message all over social media in hopes of another client, in hopes of a new customer, in hopes of a new client, cust uh, uh, client right? When... The majority of the people that are following us live across the country. You got to understand that. You have to understand that if I'm your friend on Facebook, you and I live across the country. If you're following me on Instagram, we live across the country. If you're LinkedIn with me on LinkedIn, if you're connected with me on LinkedIn, chances are you live in a different state. These are the people on our friends list that we're spraying our content, aka our message, um, in front of. And it's not your ideal client. It's, they're, they're not in your ideal market, right? And so the only way we can reach these people in our ideal market is to put an ad in front of them. A simple post, but call it an ad and simply run it and target them on the most popular platform. And that's this one. Okay. So whether, whether you're on this one or you're going to be running them on Instagram, which are still ran through Facebook. So I'm going to walk you through it all right now. But, um, or you're running YouTube ads. That's where I would be in 2020. That's where I would be if I were you. If I was a local realtor, if I was a local restaurant, if I was a local chiropractor, a local dentist, a local lawyer practicing law and getting everyone in my local community, community to know who I am. If I was that person, um, this is where I would be. I would have to be. I'd have to be putting my message in front of them through a Facebook ad, right? So hopefully you guys understand the importance and how much I stress this simple strategy, um, especially for the cost. Now, the reason why I'm even recording this and the reason why I'm showing you and I'm going I'm to turn this into a tutorial is because you have some agents, right, that are super, super all in. They have the budget. They're very successful financially. Money is not an issue. They know the empower that they know the importance of marketing. Forget about just social media or Facebook ads. There's these particular clients, aka business owners, right? 
whether they're a realtor or anyone else, it doesn't matter. Same principle applies. You have some that are super, super financially successful and they know the importance of marketing and they don't care how much it costs as long as they're positive ROI, right? As long as they're a positive ROI, it, you know, attached to it. So as long as you can bring them more, if they spend X and you bring them more income in, they're happy. And that's business, man. I'm willing to spend anything on marketing as long as it makes me money. So when I look at numbers, I'm like, I don't get afraid. When, when you look at spending 5,000 a month on Facebook, I don't get afraid. If I can make 10,000 from that, how in the hell and why in the hell would I, would I not? You know what I mean? That's why a lot of times when I speak to realtors, they're not all thinking like Luann. Luann's thinking, David, I know you crush it with what you're doing. Here's my budget. Go make it happen. And, and this is, again, someone who has several thousand per month that we're working with now right? Someone that says, dude, I make 10 grand per deal. This is what she's telling me. She said, David, I make, I make average 10,000 per deal. If I can spend 3000 on Facebook ads with you, do you think we can crush it? I said, Luann, 99.999% of every realtor in this country does not spend even 300 a month consistently on Facebook ads. I said, if you spent 3000 every month and we dropped a new video to your local backyard, you would literally be the mayor by tomorrow. And that's the facts, man. That's the facts. So that's why video, video marketing is, 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 is just the norm. You have to be doing it. Like it's standard, right? There's no if, ands, or buts. And you got to be targeting your, back, your backyard. Some of you are going to start super small with your budget and you totally can. Some of you are going to be like Luann and, and, and say, David, I'm all in. And, and again, man, when you look at it and you put the numbers in perspective, this is someone that's in at 3000 a month to capture leads where when she closes one lead, she makes 10 grand. Like, come on, dude, who in, the, who in their right mind wouldn't be doing that? That's what I'm saying. You realtors out there that are still tippy-toeing, spending $5 a day. You're spending 10 bucks here, 10 bucks there, and, and, and saying you ran an ad. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Until you're consistent and actually running one every single week to your local backyard and actually capturing leads, then you can say you're doing it. If, you're, if, you're, if you haven't even put in a few hundred a month, I'm telling you, that's why I'm, I'm teaching you through this because I want you to. I want you to be thinking, thinking bigger. 2020, you got to be thinking bigger, man. You got to be thinking bigger. You make a boatload per deal. You need to take a fraction of that and go throw it on some Facebook ads and do it every month. And that's why I'm saying a fraction of what you guys make is a joke. Take, take 20%, take 30% of what you make per deal. And that should be, let's call it 30%. Take 30% of what you make per deal and put that into a monthly Facebook ad budget. And that's probably going to be a couple thousand for most of you guys, right? 30% of what you make. That's probably over a couple thousand, right? That's what I'm saying. That's where you want to be. That's, you want to play with a big voice. You want to be a top producer. You want to come into 2020 and build a social media brand. That's how you do it. It's not spraying it all over the place. No one cares about your listing. They live in Nebraska. No one cares about your open house that you got going on. You know, this weekend in Phoenix, most of your followers are across the country. I live in California. I won't be there. So no one cares about what you're posting until you start posting it in front of the right people. And, and I'm saying we can get in front of the right people through Facebook advertising. Okay, so let me set this ad up really quick. You guys, this is going to be a basic one, super, super basic one. This is the first ad, okay? This is the first ad. Now, she tried turning it on a couple of days ago, but she reached out and she said, David, I need you to do it. You do it instead. So here's what I'm going to do. You always want to post it on the page first, right? And the reason why you do this and not set it up through the ads manager first is you post it to the page first. So when we turn off the ad eventually, because we're not going to have the ad run forever, right? When we do eventually turn the ad off, at least it's still on the page, right? In this case, we pinned it. I always talk about an intro video. The first, first Facebook ad that you run is the like ad, right? She didn't run the like ad and that's fine. She said, David, I ain't got time for that. I need to start capturing leads. I need to start building custom audiences. I need to start, I need to start getting my local area to know, to know who I am. Let's just skip, skip one, step one and two. And let's go step straight to step three. That, that's Luann. Okay. So normally I would have her do an intro video. She didn't do the intro video yet. An intro video of her. She doesn't even like to be on camera. So it's not going to be a good strategy for her. But normally as you heard in, in other videos that I, that I put out, this first video of your, of your local targeting, the like ad went to everyone. This, third, this next video, step three, this is when we start targeting local, your local area, right? This is when we start now trying to go up, 
we're capturing leads now, right at this point. Um, and so I always teach where the very, very first one that you roll, to, you roll out to your local area should be a video of you introducing yourself, right? So you probably caught that on other videos. I don't want to spend too much time on that, but that should be your first video because that video is the one that we should be putting this budget to, okay? That's what I told Luann. I said, Luann, we're targeting a, warm, a cold market. That's, that's your first ad. That, that's you targeting your local backyard. It's a cold market. These are people that haven't been in your website. These are people that live in your backyard. They live two miles away, but they're not friends with you on Facebook. They don't even know you have a business page. They don't like your business page. They don't know you. Even though these people live in our backyard, we don't know everyone, you guys. So when you're running a Facebook ad, you're running it to a cold market. I always knew and I always taught where that first ad should be a video of you introducing yourself. It should be a video where you pull out your phone and simply introduce yourself, your background, your experience, your history, why you're in business, how long you've been helping people in business, why you love helping people in business. There's so many different reasons why you're doing what you do. Explain it. Intro, introduce yourself. That right there makes a, an amazing first ad that you use to run under video views, which is what I'm going to do with this one. That's a, a great ad to run to a specific market, right? To capture an audience, aka a custom audience, to capture the audience of people who viewed it to then retarget them in the future with future ads, okay? And, and build an actual warm audience out of people that are watching your stuff, okay? So when you run an intro video of you introducing yourself, you're now throwing yourself out and say, hey man, my name is David. I am your local attorney. I am your local realtor. I am your local freaking business owner, right? And then, and then, and then after we get thousands of people to view that first video, then we retarget. When it's personal branding, that's why when you put yourself out there, this is a video of her not putting herself out there. This is a boring slideshow video, but this client was very, very, very adamant about me running this one first because she, had a, she has a budget that she absolutely has to spend, right, by a certain time. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't question it. I said, okay, Luann, let's do it. Throw me the video and, and I'll get it up on the page and we'll run it. And so what we're going to do instead of, uh, instead of her introducing herself, we're going to simply run this one. We're going to simply run this one. And um, we're going to literally get tens of thousands. Probably, I'm even, I'm even curious to see if we reach 100,000. This is the biggest budget that I've ever put on a seven-day ad before, okay, um, for a client. Let's put it that way for a client because I don't, I don't ever encourage them to have to spend this much that I'm about to put down right now. I'm going to show you guys. I don't ever encourage them to, to come out the gates at that budget. But again, Luann is special. Luann is different. Luann is unique. Luann is a freaking top producer and she ain't got no time to play. So she said, David, let it all, let it all ride. And so I'm like, okay, let's let it ride. And so here's what we're going to do, you guys. Come into your page, right? Post it on the page first. Come to the page. Click on create. That's going to take you to the ad, okay? That's going to take you to the ad setup, which is this page right here. And this is where, we, where the magic happens. This is where everything starts. Now, again, if you're a realtor, then this video for sure applies to you. But even if you're not a realtor, this applies to any small business owner, okay? This whole setup and my whole strategy, exactly my mindset of going into this ad and why we're going to run it the way we're going to run it. The strategy applies for any business, okay? So keep that in mind. But if you are a realtor, you have to check this box and you have to hit this drop down, and you're going with housing. If you're in any employment, if you're... Um, offering jobs, if you're looking for people to hire, right, you're an employer and you're looking for employees, if you're looking for people to internship for you, if you're looking to, to qualify people for any kind of professional certification programs, anything like that employment, you're hiring, right, then you would check that one and then credit if any of you guys are offering credit card services um, or any type of financing, this right here, credit you'd have to go with that one, okay? So make sure you choose the correct one because your ad will be disapproved for sure. And so in this case, I'm gonna go with housing. 
And so here is the first strategy. Here is the first campaign. And for those of you that are building a company, for those of you that are building a digital agency and actually running ads for clients, you're running Facebook ads for other people, right? This is a great strategy. As I'm saying, man, that intro video, that intro video, even your local restaurant owner, there is an, an owner that owns that business. And if he's successful offline, if he's successful in the local community, if he's been there for more than 15 years, he has history, he has credibility. What would it be like if he literally pulled out his cell phone and said, hey guys, I just wanted to say hello. We've been in the neighborhood for 15 years. We are super fired up and we are humbled and we are so grateful for every single one of you, every customer that have came through our doors to order any type of meal on our menu we are so grateful we want to let you let you know that you know we've been in business for the past 15 years we've been here on plaza boulevard you know for the past 14 of the 15 years and in the in the last 15 years i wanted to kind of talk about what we've experienced and how amazing this community has grown dude i'm telling you man i'm freestyling that that shit comes so second nature to me because it's so real like it's so freaking real like it's so real and it's so simple and, and, and you guys, you already have a pitch for, for what you do. Cause what you do, you know, it like the back of your hand, you know? So imagine any business owner, a dentist, imagine anyone pulling out their phone, man, and saying, Hey man, right? Like that's a powerful video for it to be number one, for it to be video ad number one. And again, let's dive into it because here's my thought pattern. Here's how my, here's how I strategize. Here's how I set it all up. Here's the point of it all. The first one is video views, okay? And the only objective is to, is, to, is to capture an audience. That's it. This ad is going to a cold market. These people don't know you yet. We have to capture our audience. We have to create a custom audience, okay? So it's going to be a custom audience around all the people who viewed the video. We know the location. We know the demographics. We know where those people came from. We know where they're at. That was our targeting. And thousands of people viewed it. And now Facebook allowed us to set up this custom audience where we can then run our second ad to all those people. That's what makes it so powerful. So video views, when you can break out and you can just introduce yourself and you can, and you can put yourself out on video, there's nothing more powerful than that. Why do you think my YouTube channel, shout out to every single subscriber. Why do you think these, these folks are here? Because it's my video. If I was writing this in a blog, none of you would be here. But because I'm putting out my, myself out on video and actually teaching something, right? Actually bringing value, actually teaching something. That's why you guys are here. So when you can do that for your business, people are going to look at you as an authority. People are going to start paying attention to you. And when you can set up custom audiences and retarget people who are viewing your previous videos, that's when you dominate. That's when you completely take over with brand recognition and you get people indoctrinated with your content. People end up feeling like they know you, like they like you, and they, like they trust you. People start getting, giving you that type of emotional vibe and, 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 um, and, um, 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 attention because they're seeing your videos in their news feeds every day. Like it's crazy, man. And because they're interested in that topic, if your targeting is right, if you're setting up the custom audiences, right, they're watching your stuff because you're actually talking about stuff that they're interested in. Like how powerful is that, man? So this right here is our strategy. We're going to run video views and we're going to put down a decent budget. Not all you guys have to start here at all. But again, Luann, a little different, right? She's fired up. She's all in. And so we're going to literally get a boatload of people to watch this simple, short video. Nothing. The video ain't nothing special. I even told her, I said, Luann, I hate your video. I straight out told her, honest to God truth. I straight out told her yesterday. I'm like, Luann, it, it, the video is not even all that. But I'm telling you, this is a special client. This is someone that says, David, I don't give a damn. Here's a budget. That's all I have right now freaking run it and that's why we're here you guys so we're going to put down a crap load on this video view we are going to um build a huge custom audience okay we're going to build a huge custom audience let me go with um the title right here we're going to build a huge custom audience and then we're going to retarget that's when we'll go for lead capture and once once we retarget let's say we and, and here's the here's the here's the game plan we're going to run this for seven days, okay, under video views. We're going to put a good daily budget down, okay, under video views. 
after seven days, I'm going to have this huge custom audience of people who viewed it, right? Then on the eighth day, I'm going to turn around and run conversions to a landing page, okay? That's when I'm going to bring them to this landing page. And this, this is where you want to make sure your Facebook pixel is set up. You want to make sure you set up a custom conversion. And if you don't know what any of that is, comment below and I'll, I'll make a whole nother video, but I have a ton of videos here on this channel that, that, that already show you how, how, how to set all that up. But day number eight is when we'll be running it to a landing page under conversions. Okay. That's when we start lead capturing, but we want to build an audience first. We want to build a warm market first. We want to build a custom audience first. And, and the way we do it is we track who watched the first video. Track who watched any of your videos, actually, who watches. You, when you're running video ads, that's why I always want to run video ads because I can always retarget the people who viewed it. That's powerful, man, and that's what you want to do. You can do the same thing with a post, with an image. You can obviously retarget and build a custom audience of anyone who engages, aka clicks like, comments, shares it, read it, read the text. That's all engagement. You can build custom audiences around people who engage in your image post as well. Um, but with video views, it's, 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 it's even more powerful because Facebook allows you to break it down. Do you want to, do you want to build an audience around people who watched, uh, uh, 10% of it? Do you want to build an audience around people who watched 25% of it? Do you want to watch, do you want to build an audience of people who watched 75% of it? Like you can build an audience around people who watched 95% of your video. So you can build a bunch of different audiences, man. And and, and, and it's video, which makes the personal branding a hundred times more effective. That's why I'm a fan of video, man. So let's run this ad, you guys, and get off this video because I've gone on way of a longer rant than needed. But hopefully a lot of that made sense, man. And watch the video again. Share it with anyone that you feel will bring value to. Um, and let's, let's run this ad. So here's what I did. I copied a little bit of the title because that's what I'm going to name right there. So selling your home that's just going to be the title let me move this t definitely want to get your tea in you guys drink your tea okay so here we go selling i'm going to copy this and i'm going to simply bring it over and i'm going to paste it and i'm going to title my ad set name now you guys can title your ad set whatever you guys want but i just kind of keep it simple and, and just video views and that, that's what it is. So here's what we're going to do. Custom audiences. That's what I'm talking about. So as we run this one for seven days, we're literally going to get tens of thousands of people to view it. We're going to be, be able to take those viewers and put them into a custom audience. So when I go run the next ad, I can simply click right here and it will drop down that specific custom audience and I can retarget all those people with my next ad. That's powerful you guys that's powerful because that again you're now creating a warm market you're now creating a a, a a a list a database you're now creating a group of people that are warm they know you they've seen your video before they engaged with your post before they are familiar with your name with your brand and if you can just imagine doing video after video after video, doing a new video every week and capturing all this data of people that live in your local backyard these are people that know your brand top of mind because you stay in front of them. You stay in front of the most, the most relevant people that are watching and engaging with your stuff. You stay in front of them every day because you're running ads every day. And so this right here, you guys, is powerful. Custom audiences is powerful. And that's what the whole intention of this video view ad is, right? That's the whole intention. So with the United States, what we're going to do is we are not going to target the whole entire country. And also what we're going to not do is, is target everyone in this location. I want people who live in this location. Okay. And what I'm going off of is I'm actually going off of, um, I'm going off of an address. So for those of you that are actual realtors, okay. Um, A lot of you guys farm, right? You farm different zip codes. You focus on just a handful of zip codes. Um, and that's, that, that's where you market, right? Now, with the targeting, especially on the first ad, 
you don't really need to focus just on that zip code. What I would do is I would maybe take an address, take an address within that zip code and put that address in and, and target. First of all, a lot has changed in Facebook ads. So specifically with housing, you can no longer target gender, which I'll show you. You can no longer target age and you can no longer target, um, 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 what you call it, freaking um, um, zip codes, right? But you can still, you can still, target that area and that's that's what it, it's it's better than it's better than anything like it's 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 more effective it's better than anything before and 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 this is how i want you to do it so let's go with um staging ad okay so this is where she wrote she wants to change the budget let's change this one where's that one at um let's go with this is the one okay so this is the address that we're running it around. Okay, so this is the zip code that she farms. But with Facebook, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste that address in. And there's the address right there. Always look for the drop down. Okay, always look for the drop down. And then what Facebook changed is the minimum is 15 miles. So you can no longer target just a zip code. You gotta target that area and 15 miles around that area, which is not a big deal at all at all at all especially when you're in the business of branding yourself and getting your message to your entire town this is not a bad thing okay so take it 15 miles now she wanted to specifically go 28 miles so we'll give her what she wants we'll go 28 miles and that's what that's 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 perfect right there now age again we can't change the gender we cannot change on the detail targeting, what a lot of people do, especially in real estate or in any business, man, this applies for any business, is they'll put that interest in, and that's good, right? You, you, you definitely can, can put in a bunch of different interests in here, right? You can even click on suggestions, and, and Facebook will give you a bunch of suggestions. What a lot of realtors do is they'll come in here and they'll type in Zillow. Anyone who has an interest in Zillow would be ideal for obviously what we're doing, right? If people been at Zillow.com, Zillow.com, for those of you that don't know, Zillow, they are just a huge website that uh, provides listings, houses for sale for the general public, right? Real estate agents can post their listing. They can post the house that they're selling on the site and boom, people all over will find it. Um, and so it would be good. It would be safe to say that, hey man, Let's target everyone that, that, that likes and follows Zillow, people that have been on Zillow. Like that right there would be ideal. But right now for this very, very, very first ad, for this very first video view ad, we want to just see what the market demands. We want to we wanna, we wanna build our own audience because we're, all, we're already targeting just a small area. We're targeting this, this small area. So I don't want to seclude anyone. Like I don't want to eliminate anyone because who knows that person that might be buying that next house they may have never gone to zillow right that person who's selling their house they have may, may never have gone to zillow so i don't want to narrow the, the the targeting at all on this first on this first ad i'm going to leave it wide open i'm going to leave it blank okay so show more show more options on the connections what i'm going to do is i'm going to exclude people who like and follow her page because if you're a real estate agent Chances are 95% of the people who like your business page live across the country. And if you worked with me in the past and we ran an actual like ad, those were likes that came from all over the place, right? And we did that just as a side note. We did that to bring credibility to the page. So now when people land there, they see 3,700 likes versus seeing 37, right? So you want to run the like ad for that social proof, the credibility, so your page looks like an authority with a few thousand likes. But even at that, that's not where your leads are coming from. So I don't want to put any advertising towards that page at all as far as running an ad. I don't need anyone on that page seeing it, so I exclude them. Okay, and then automatic or yeah, automatic places, automatic placements versus recommended. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go on edit. Um, our automatic placements recommended versus edit, I should say, excuse me. I always go with edit because this is a video that is not for Instagram. So I don't need it anywhere near there. And then also audience network is not what I really 
care to advertise on either. Audience Network are a different, a bunch of different websites that Facebook is affiliated with or has partnerships with. Many, many thousands of websites. You'll just be browsing randomly online and all of a sudden you'll see an ad that's either a Google ad or it could be a Facebook ad um, because that person's running it on Facebook's audience network and that consists of a bunch of different platforms. So I don't really need it there either. I really just go for Facebook. I only want it on Facebook. I only want it in the news feed. It's a video, so I want it on all the Facebook feeds. Look, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook video feeds. I for sure want it there in the stories. I want it in the in-stream videos. Um, I don't need it instant articles. I don't need it. I don't need it there. I just need it on every video platform. So here's Audience Network rewarded videos. Actually, you know what? I am going to go with that one. I am going to go with that one. So I want it on all the video platforms for sure. And that's how I set up the, the placements. Okay, so scroll down, scroll down. Now here comes the budget. What we're doing with this one, again, is Luann's a little crazy, but I love the crazy ones. I love the crazy ones. And it, was, it wasn't 80 bucks. It wasn't 85 bucks. It was 84. She said, David, run 84. And we're going to run it for the first seven days. Okay. So right now, it is the 22nd. It, it's 1246. What I always do is I push out that ad. I push it out a few hours. And if it's late in the night, I'll push it out to the next day for it to, for it to start, let's just say, at 6 a.m. So if you're setting up an ad and it's 10 p.m. right now, right, your local time, don't set it to go live now. Push it out. Push it out a few hours. And you want to give it a few hours so Facebook can take it into review and it doesn't cut into your budget in any way. Set it set it a few hours out so Facebook can review it. And then once they approve it, boom, it's set to go live a few hours later. Okay. That's what I would recommend for sure. So set a start and end date. That way you're not, you, you know that you're not spending more than what you need to, right? You, you make sure that you, 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 you allocate the right funds for this specific project. Now, this again is the strategy. This first strategy is to run video views first so we can get the custom audience we can get all that data back and then we can turn around and run conversion ads and capture leads after that retarget the audience retarget the audience retarget the audience to capture leads okay first ad and this is the first ad only we're going to run it for seven days okay 84 bucks a day and we're going to go from the 23rd actually you know what no we're it that's plenty of time that should be plenty of time 5 p.m um, in fact, it's, it's, let's go 6 p.m. We'll start it today at 6 p.m. And we're going to run it for a week. So today, the 22nd, we're going to run it to the 29th. And I'm going to change the time on when it ends. So that way, peace of mind. Of course, I'm going to micromanage it to a certain extent. Of course, I'm going to be looking at it to make sure it's performing. But as far as having stress over forgetting that it's actually turned on because I speak to many, many people and they're so pissed off and they're like, David, Facebook charged me 1100 last month and I don't even know what happened. I didn't run an ad. I didn't do anything. And I'm like, dude, no way. And then I look and they don't, and it's because they don't, they never turned off their ad. They never turned it off. Like that right there, you guys will freaking crush you. That's why I set up the calendar. Some people don't, don't set up the calendar. I set up the calendar. And I can always, I can always um, um, change the calendar. I can always edit the calendar. I can always ex ex extend the time period. I can always change this if I want during the ad, you know, everything. So I'm going to put an end date just to make sure I don't over budget. I don't overspend. And it gives me peace of mind so I can sleep at night knowing that I'm not going to wake up to a crazy Facebook bill, right? So end it there. We're going to run it for seven days and that's our budget. So again, her budget is, is, is almost 600 a week to really be trans, transparent with you guys, right? And this is, this is week one. This is week one. What I mentioned in the first video is the fact that I recommend an intro video and rolling out with that one first. And again, not necessarily at $84 a day. You don't, you don't even need, you, you probably, you probably need, a, need, a, need a quarter of that. 25 bucks, 20, 25 bucks. If you really want to go all in, even being at 20, 25 bucks a day and you're in a great position. But again, she wants to throw it all out there and that's what we're going to do. So make sure that um, that video, that title, that can stay there, this page, make sure it's running from the correct page. 
It's not going on Instagram, so we don't need to worry about that. And what we're going to do is we're going to use existing post. Okay, so remember, the post is already on the page. We're going to select post, and we're going to simply look for that last one, which is right here. And we simply hit continue. And normally, right below, it would say, yeah, here we go. So I can change it. So I can change this call to action for sign up, book now, download, get a quote. But statistically speaking, learn more is the most non-intrusive word. I think that's the right word I'm using. It's the, it's the least aggressive call to action out of all these. And that was a, a Facebook study that they put out. So send message, you can do send message. If you don't have a landing page, you can do a send message. But on this first one around, if you don't have a landing page yet, just go with send message. She has a landing page. That's why I went with learn more and just put the link to her landing page just to put it. This is the landing page, but we're, this is not a lead capture ad. So it's not even an ad where we're going to be generating leads to go to this page, right? But because she has the page, I simply put it in just to put it. So just in case, again, when we turn off the ad, the benefit of, of us posting that on our page first and then running the ad is again, when I turn off the ad, that post lives forever. So if anyone ever goes to her page and they click on learn more, then they can always go to her landing page, right? So that's why I put the link there to put it there. But if you don't have a landing page yet, I don't know what you're waiting for, profit with Kartra.online. There's a 14 day trial. The link is also in the description. Profit with Kartra.online. You have to set up your landing page. Because again, with this first time, this first seven day run, it's just for the video views. It's just to build the custom audience. And then we're going to retarget in week number two with conversions. And that's when we'll need the actual landing page. So if you guys are really, really hardcore and looking to capture leads on social media, you have to be doing it with Facebook ads and you want to be driving it to a landing page where you can capture the lead. Okay. So profit with Karcher.online. I use Karcher for everything. My landing page, my email autoresponder, my calendar hosting, my video hosting, my affiliate marketing. I use it for everything, okay? And there's a 14-day trial, a 14-day trial right below profit with Karcher.online. You have to start thinking landing pages or you're going to be running a bunch of lead capture, lead generation ads. You can do that too where you don't need a landing page. You use Facebook's landing page, but there's a few more steps with those types of ads. I'd rather just take people to a landing page, capture the lead, and let my email autoresponder get people to schedule appointments. All automated, and I don't, I don't even lift a finger. That's conversion ads, okay? So again, week number two will be conversions, driving them to a landing page, but again, our whole intention is to make sure that that Facebook pixel is tracking, making sure that the video views, we're creating a custom audience, and that's our whole objective with this first video, okay? So hopefully that made sense, you guys. If you need to watch it again, watch it again. If you need to share it with any local business owner, please share this video. Comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from. Let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. So now it'll say no ads, which all that means is that it's in review. So if I click on it, come to the ad set, it'll say no ads right now. But if I click on the third one, as long as it's blue, it'll be in review. Okay, so blue in review. And then, and then in a few minutes, this will go from no ads to in review. And then in a few minutes, this will go from no ads to review. Okay, so this right here, you guys, is where we need to be. This is where we need to be in, in 2020. We need to be crushing it online. And then after it goes, after in review, it's going to go scheduled, right? It's going to go scheduled and then it goes active, right? So this is how you take over your local area in 2020, you guys. Stop messing around. Stop just spraying social media with all this crap when your ideal client is literally in your backyard. Run a Facebook ad, get these video views up on the first ad, and then retarget all the viewers with the second ad for conversions, okay? And that's when we drive them to a landing page to capture the lead. So hopefully that made sense, you guys. I will see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed, smash the bell for notifications, subscribe, drop me a comment, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Over and out.